What's up, y'all? So, I have another requested video. Um, I'm just chilling in the car to do this video right now. It's like 8 o'clock where I'm at. But anyways, this one is going to be about depression. Um, I talked about depression a few times before, but I don't know if I went in depth about it. I can't remember. I, I think I made like, like one or two videos about it. But um, I used to be depressed. Like, I used to say I was depressed and everything like that. I used to wallow in depression a lot. But getting older and, like, really going through life and, and becoming more spiritual and stuff, I realized that depression is really most mostly a state of mind. Like, it's not a... Like, a, everything else, honestly, like, everything is a state of mind to me. And depression is definitely one of them. And that's not something that I would claim either. You know, even if you feel depressed, I wouldn't say, well, I'm depressed because you like you sending that vibration out there. But depression is like a, it is more like a, a demonic spirit to me. Like, that's how I think about it. Like, it's a demonic spirit because depression could drive you to do some, some crazy things. It's like if you, if you depressed for too long because you you go into depression is like a spiral like you go into a spiral because it's like you feel like everything closing in on you that's what depression feels like or that's what it felt like to me like it feel like everything is going wrong like everything closing in shit is falling apart shit hitting the ceiling type stuff like that like that's how it is to me that's how I would explain it but like I said with me growing and really like being more in tune with myself and becoming more spiritual, I realized that depression is not really a real thing. It, it only, it's only real within the mind. Like, other than that, and just as real as people try to make it, but oof, other than that, it's really not something that can't be controlled. You definitely can uh, control your depression. Um, now, I understand there's certain circumstances that'll make somebody depressed, like a death in the family, stuff like that, but when you have a really good understanding of the spiritual side of life, that doesn't even affect you for too long because, you know, you never know where somebody's going to go no matter how close you are to them anyway. Like, you, you don't know where they are. That's something that you're not going to find out until your time comes. So it's like, you know, how, how could you wallow in that at the same time too? And I think like that also. But... Depression is definitely a demonic spirit because it could drive you to do certain things that you wouldn't do if you were in your right state of mind. Um, and I feel like we shouldn't give it too much recognition. Like, I could be depressed for a minute, you know, depressed. I usually get anxious. I don't really get depressed. I call it anxiety. I don't get depressed because I could tell when I have anxiety, like my hands shake and everything. But with depression and stuff like that, I feel like it's a little bit different. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit. I haven't been depressed in so long. I really don't even remember what it feels like. Like, i just been chilling. I, I be minding my own business and stuff. See, the thing is, people was the cause of my depression. Like, outside factors could cause your depression, but whether it keeps going on, that really depends on you. Like, something can make you depressed one day, and if you don't pay attention to it or if you don't, try to like fix it then they'll start to really like put you in a spiral you, like you get into this dark spiral to where you start like it's like everything is falling apart and then there's more and more stuff and then there's stuff that you at least expect to fall apart and that's exactly how it was I haven't been depressed in no I lied I was depressed from like from March until May so I was depressed for like two or three months because of some something really bad that happened to me but and I felt like I was not getting out that situation like I felt like that shit was never ending no matter how bad I tried to forget about it or how bad I felt like it just felt like it wasn't going anywhere but the thing is I never failed to like put my mind to it to really get over it I, I kept putting my mind to it to get over it and for the most part I, I am over it I'm not depressed about it I know that for a fact I'm not I'm not 100% over it but for but like I am for the most part I really am like I don't care about anybody in a situation I don't care about none of the, none of the weird shit that that goes on with it 
Now, I did spaz out like a few weeks ago because the uh, one of the people involved, they still have my pictures on their page. And I'm the type of person, I don't like people having my pictures after we talk. Like, I feel like all that should be deleted because, like, why you have my pictures? That's my face. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's like kind of like there's no need to hold on to the memory that's like holding on to me and not releasing me energetically and I feel like you should definitely release somebody energetically if you're trying to get over them or if you're trying to forget about their existence because it's like you can stop talking to somebody but as long as you as long as you like with them energetically it's very very hard to do that so I spazzed out and I wanted my pictures deleted but I got blocked so it is what it is because he's a bitch but anyways um yeah, that, that situation was pretty depressing. That was that was real depression. Like, that situation had me questioning if I ever really been through depression like that. Like, I don't think I've ever been through depression like that. Because I, I lost, like, I was like, it took, it take me, so, it's so hard for me to gain weight, y'all. Like, it's so fucking hard for me to gain weight. I've been trying to gain, get to 105 since last August. I got to 97. And then when that happened, I lost all my weight. Like, within, like, a week, I, I lost seven pounds. But, like, that's not a lot. But when you already 97 and you go to 90, that's that's a big-ass jump. It don't, it don't sound like it, but it feels like it. That's, like, it literally feels like going from 130 to, to 100 pounds. Like, that shit don't feel right. Like, I could still walk. It wasn't like how it was last year. Like, I still was mobile and stuff like that. But it, def it hit different this time. Like, it hit different. But after, anyways, after I overcame that situation, like I was, I was a new person. Like I feel like depression is not a real thing. I, I like to, I like to refer to it as like a death and rebirth thing. Like, you know, you die within a situation for a minute, and then once you overcome that situation, like you were born into a new individual. Like, your perception changes, the way that you move change, the people that you interact with change. You know what to look out for stuff like that so it's not like a spiral like no more like you out of that and now you a whole new individual like it's, it's the best thing in the world so I really don't I don't hate when stuff happened to me anymore like as much like it don't I don't let it take me down like I hate it don't get me wrong I I don't let it take me down because I know like I'm gonna get over it that's how life is you go through terrible shit sometime and you get over it and you become a totally different person that's what life is about. It's about growing and, you know, excelling spiritually, mentally, physically, all that. Like, that's all life is about. And depression is something that they, I feel like they, it's like a tag, another label. And I don't do labels. It's like another tag that they put on you to give it a name just so they can give you more medication or make you feel like you crazy or something like that. I feel like this world is all about controlling the people and making them feel crazy so they can stray away from God, stray away from their own thinking and relying on a government, to be honest, some type of government. Like, I feel like they want you to rely on them. Pharmaceutical industry, all that shit. I don't trust none of that, like, talking about it. I, I had got on antidepressants around the time that uh that shit was going on because I just needed some type of help. Like, and when I got on that, I took, like, one pill, and I never took that shit again. I never took it again. Like, I don't know. I had a really bad reaction to it. So, after that, I was like, fuck it. I'm going to just thug it out. Which is the best thing to do is to thug it out and to pray about it. Because can't nobody or no pill help you but yourself and God. Or whoever y'all pray to. I pray to God, like I said. I don't know about y'all. But, um, but, yeah. You overcome it. Like you can overcome anything. It's just a, it's, it's like a, they call it a mental disease. It's just, it's really just a bad spirit. You got to pray it off of you. That's it. I don't know if anybody else see it like that, but that's how I see it. Depression is a bad spirit. It's a demonic spirit. Like you are in the dark for a while. When you're depressed, you don't want to go out. You don't want to have fun. You don't want to talk to nobody. Well, that's how I am. I just get to uh, periods of time where I, I got to periods of time where I didn't want to talk to nobody. I didn't like sunlight coming in my room. My room was black as fuck. Like, my room was so dark. Back, like, last year when I was a dark person, my room was so fucking dark. If you knew me, like, when you walk in my room, it's pitch black. Like, that bitch was blacked out. I had black shutters covering the, um, 
my window. I have a small, depressing looking ass window, but I had black shutters covering it. My bed's black. The only thing that wasn't black in my room was my walls. My walls are green, but I mean, they're like a dark green. So once you black it out, it's, it's pitch black in there. And I didn't really talk to nobody. I used to keep my door closed and just lay in the bed all day. Like that's all I ever really did. And I used to be cool with doing that, but not that I'm like an energy person and I'm like really into, I'm really into the sun now. Like you could not get me to even go outside at a point in time in my life when I was depressed. Dark energies and dark entities don't like sunlight. They don't like, they like to be in the dark. That's where they thrive. That's where they feel comfortable. They, they keep doing whatever the fuck they doing to your body, you know? And I get sick when I get depressed too. Like I get really, really sick. Sickness and disease and mental, all that shit comes from evil spirits. And it's so easy for evil, people don't understand how easy it is for evil spirits to take over your body. You really allow evil spirits to take over your body. Like that, that's something that you allow with the things that you think and the things that you do. And that stuff, it, it's like we so close to them. We, we, we so close to them and people don't realize that. But that's why you become in tune with yourself. And that way, when you become in tune with yourself and you know yourself, like I always say, when you know yourself, you're able to point out what's wrong with you really quickly. Like, you you know yourself a lot better. Like, if you do some shit, some wacky shit that you, you can't make sense of, you know that that wasn't you that did that. That was that. Not saying that you should put everything on evil spirits, because I know there's some people that'll be like, oh, well, now I have an excuse. But no, it's not an excuse at all. You are very much accountable because you allow that entity to enter your body and take over your mind. But anyways, I'm not going to make this video too long because I feel like this is a conversation that could spring off into different conversations, etc. So, like I said, I'm doing tarot readings. They're $5 right now. I'm going to do like a dollar each question, something like that. Um, hit me up on my Instagram. All that stuff is going to be in the description below. Y'all have a great... What's this month? Oh, yeah. Y'all have a great rest of September. I'm waiting for October. September is boring as fuck. No offense to anybody whose birthday is in September. I just really hate the months of September, January, February, and August because they boring as hell. Um, and they drag along with time. But y'all be great. Uh, pray before you lay. Love, energy, and light. Stay safe. Keep the dark entities away.